Hello and welcome to eMultiSkills video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will learn what is PostgreSQL schema. So uh, in this slide, we will learn uh, what is PostgreSQL schema. So if you have already installed PostgreSQL uh, software either on Linux or Windows system, you will know that by default, uh, there will be one instance. If you wanted to have more than one instance, you can do that. So at the top level, you have uh, instance and in the instance, you have databases. So you can say that a PostgreSQL database uh, uh, cluster contains one or more named databases. And in turn, a database can have one or more objects which are called as schemas. What is a schema? Schemas in turn can uh, have uh, tables uh, or different types of objects or it is just a container which can have uh, different types of objects in it. So if I say in a particular database, if I am connected to, I can create multiple schema. Let's say I create a schema one, I can create a schema two or n number of schemas I can contain. So what will happen, uh, have over there uh, let's say I have created uh, a table which is called as actor in schema one and uh, another table with the same name uh, in another schema. So uh, let's say the name is again actor in schema so uh, schema two. So two schemas with, uh, with different name schema one and schema two but same table name which is actor. So it is good to organize the uh, tables in different uh, uh, different schemas and um, so if you talk about a schema uh, is it synonymous to anything so it is something like uh, directory or folder at the operating system level there is nothing more than that in in that folder there will be different objects like uh, uh, tables uh, uh, or views or what do you say the functions etc so this is a brief introduction of a schema. A schema is nothing, just a logical container uh, which can have different tables uh, and uh, data types. So why do we need a, uh, to use a schema? Is it is it something new? So no, it is not something new. So a schema allows you to organize database objects. Let's say I have a database with the name DVD rental and if I have two schemas, let's say schema one and schema two, and I have a one table, which is known as actor. If I wanted to access it through two different schemas, I can do that. So it is easier to uh, organize the objects in the schema and if I wanted to take a backup of uh, the particular schema, if it is, uh, if I have to restore it, uh, then it is, it is very easy to do that. And uh, organization in a particular schema will be easier. What I can do is I can restrict the user to work on to a particular schema and I can say you don't have access on other schema. So it is good to have schemas in place. It is something like mandatory. You should, you should use it. There is something called as public schema when we talk about Postgre. Uh, public doesn't mean that it is available for entire public or all the users which are uh, connected to the, uh, uh, the database. Uh, sorry, I, I mean to the uh, mean uh, to the instance. So uh, when you when you create a database in uh, Postgre, by default there will be a schema which is the only schema present which is known as public. That means if you have not created any uh, user defined uh, schema, then all the objects which you create will be there in the public schema. So any uh, uh, role which has access to the uh, database or user which has access to the database can uh, uh, create the table in public schema. And public schema is is available by default in all the databases which you create and that is the only schema which is available. So there is something called a search path. What happens if I say if I'm connected to a, a, a DVD rental, let's say my database name is DVD rental and if I uh, try if I say select a star from actor, so in which schema it is going to uh, look for. So there is something called as 
public schema so by default it is going to look into the public schema if you say show search path then it will search either in user dollar there is something called as uh, uh, user dollar and uh, the other one is public so if if the schema name is equal to the username then uh, the the uh, object will be searched in that particular schema if not then it will it will be searched in the public schema so what is the building block of uh, of uh, postgre so we have uh, uh, postgre sql cluster uh, that means there will be one set of software let's say postgre 12 i have installed so by default there will be one instance if i wanted to create another instance then i can do that so each instance in postgre will have its own set of background processes plus memory area and in each instance you can create uh, different uh, databases and each database will have uh, the container which is called as a schema and a schema can contain different types of objects so this is the hierarchy so you have postgre instance or the cluster you have uh, inside the cluster or instance you have databases inside databases you have schemas under schemas you have objects it is just like uh, folders that's it so let's let's come back to uh, the demo so i'm i'll, I'll show you um, if, like uh, i'm already connected to uh, a pg admin 4 uh, this is the IP address of my server 192.168.1.61. I have six databases. I'm going to use DVD rental. So if you uh, click this, you will be able to see different options. And by default, there is one schema which is with the name public. It doesn't mean that it is available for the entire users. No, it is. it is not like that. So by default, when you create or select the object, it comes from the public schema. So what we will do is, uh, um, so as of now, there are uh, there is only one schema. Let's create two more schemas. I'll create uh, two schema with the name uh, schema one and other uh, again with the same uh, schema two name. schema 2 okay and uh, what I'm going to do is now um, either you can use the command prompt or PG admin 4 and uh, let's do okay I'm already connected over here So I created two schema, schema one and schema two. And in my public schema, there is a table called as actor. So if I simply fire one statement like select star from actor. Okay, let me do one thing. This is my uh, command prompt. Uh, of 192.168.1.61 so I am connected as uh, mobile XTERM so what I will do is I am connected as Postgres user so I just say PSQL I am connected to Postgre prompt so if I say uh, switch to uh, database uh, the databases which I have is uh, these many so I wanted to uh, connect to DVD rental I'm connected to DVD rental and if I say select star from actor so I can I, I'll be able to see the data right so uh, this is my actor uh, table which is available in public schema and I have created two more schema schema one and schema two so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, the structure in these two schemas for our demo 
by default I click uh, uh, this icon so okay let's go to the query editor I'll go to schema one uh, expand this you can see the public schema just go to schema one and say um, query tool and uh, I will create a blank table with the name actor just execute this so this is a blank table all right create another uh, uh, table in the schema 2 let's create that as well all right so if I have to select the data from individual tables so what I will have to do is I will say if I say select star from actor by default it comes from the uh, uh, it, it comes from your uh, public schema and if I have to say the specific schema I have to say schema one dot actor so I'll say select star from schema one dot actor so you can see that we created just a blank table and there is no row and similarly we did it for the schema 2 also if I say schema 2 dot actor so it is coming as uh, again blank there is no data because we created the structure only and if I say select a star from actor it it displays the data from public schema uh, with the table actor so how this all is happening we will see and if you wanted to drop a schema just say drop a schema a schema name and uh, if there is any object you will have to say drop a schema a schema name and cascade there is something called as a schema search path so when I'm saying select a star from actor or uh, or uh, select a star from schema one dot actor how it is uh, actually doing or if I'm just saying select a star from actor is there any parameter which is deciding like from where it has to pick the information so there is something called as search path so if we go to psql and say show search path it will show the two output one is dollar user and another is public that means uh, the user which is connected so by um, i'm connected through the postgre user so when I am going to create any object or select any object inside this particular user by default it will look for postgre uh, user a schema if it is present it is going to create object or select uh, object from there if that particular schema is not present then it will go to public so if I oops again I click this so this is this is my dvd rental uh, database so i have three schemas by default uh, um, i'm connected through the postgre uh, user if that but the if the schema is not present with that name it will look for public why because that that thing has been mentioned in search path either the uh, schema should available with the username or the second option is public so if the first option is not available it is going to look for the public schema what if I wanted to uh, say select a star from actor and it picks the information from a schema dot actor so what we have to do is we have to tell to the instance you go and look into uh, schema one so we will have to change the settings how do we do that we can if I say show search path we have user public so instead of user by default I wanted it to come from a schema one so I have to set that so we'll say set search path to schema one comma public so that means it will first look for a schema one if that is available it is going to show the data from there let's verify it yes and if I say select star from actor so I have a blank table available in a schema one so it should show that so you can see that and if I have to search from the public schema I have to ex explicitly mention select star from public dot actor
so you can see that so how everything is being controlled everything is being controlled through search path and you have some schema and privileges as well so by default uh, uh, users do not have access uh, into the schemas which are which they do not own uh, that is true you have to give the permission so what is the usage pattern you should issue revoke create on public schema from public that means you should not allow any user to create or select the object from there uh, selection is fine that that that's not a problem if you wanted them to create the object inside that that should not be allowed what if there are multiple users and they wanted to create uh, the object with the same name so it will it is going to be a problem so what you should do is you should remove the public schema from default search path so what we did right now is we changed uh, it to uh, from user dollar comma public to schema one comma public so you should do similar for the application user right Remove the public schema from default search path by issuing alter role all set search path equal to. So it is a good practice to have the schema name with the same name so that they can uh, create the objects over there. So the conclusion of this is you should not use the public schema. So just a recap of what we what we did is uh, we learned what is a schema a schema is just a kind of folder or container which contains objects which you can uh, see in uh, uh, sorry i clicked again so uh, i have a database which oops uh, where is the screen okay so I have a database uh, DVD rental inside DVD rental I created by default there is one public schema so uh, everyone will be able to uh, so those who have access to this particular uh, DVD rental uh, database will, can select from public schema and they will be able to create the objects over there what you should do is you should create the named schema where in the application owner can can create their objects or they they are the owner of this schema and how to modify that you should change the search path so that by default it doesn't go if that user dollar is not available that means uh, if the schema name which is not equal to the connected user is available that will go to public so you should remove that in that way uh, that way you can organize your objects better and uh, if you uh, just right click on one of the schema then you can see uh, you can do a lot of things you can create the script you can back up you can re restore you can grant the wizard you can search objects uh, there are a lot of things you can do with that so a schema is a great a great uh, object in uh, in your postgre and you should use it wisely i hope this is going to help and uh, thanks for watching